All right, everybody, we are finally getting into it. The Avengers Tower. Let's grab this big boy. Actually, first, let me show you this. I built and assembled the Lego taxi that came alongside this Avengers Tower. And it's a pretty good one. I like it, actually. So let me grab this. This is the taxi has print pieces as a license plate, the two taxi emblems on the side, the license plate on the back. This construction of this was actually pretty good. I like the taxi man himself. He's holding a coffee cup and a slice of pizza. And he's got a briefcase, a spare slice of pizza, and a Avengers ball cap in his back seat. You have that little clear element that comes with a lot of these in the Avenger Tower set. So having that little one there with T'Challa leaping over and you have two little Outriders which are the things from uh, Avengers Infinity War or Endgame like Thanos' troops there so you got those two little guys and yeah that's not a bad little promo that comes with the set if you buy Avengers Tower but let's put this over here and let's grab the box shall we oh it's heavy oh it's heavy oh 5,201 pieces, set number 76269, it's an 18 plus set, it's 5,201 pieces, that is insanity, lots of clear blue, lots of black tinted windows, lots of minifigures, I think it was like 30 minifigures or some crap, lots of clear elements, this is going to be a ton of fun, but let's bust it open and see how many bags we are dealing with. All right. Ooh, look at the detail. So have all your figures and then you open up to like a little Lego Avengers lineup. I actually like this quite a bit. Let's name them out if we can. <laughs> we got Wasp. We got Tony in the middle. We got Hawkeye. We got Falcon, Scarlet Witch, Wongers. Um, who's that there? Is that Pepper Potts, maybe? Um, Vision, Cap, Hulk, Thor, Nicholas, J. Fury, Black Widow, and the... Uh, wow, red eyes. He looks menacing, that uh, Iron... What does he call himself? Uh, War Machine? Iron Patriot? Whatever. That's more War Machine, I think, with the gun on the side. But yeah, I like that a lot. But yeah, let's get into the box here. Oh, there's a box and a box. So we have another box. All right, we're opening box number two, the white box. And this one's got more goodies in it. The base plate. And more bags. It also has what looks to be probably the instructions. So check this out. Oh, just a lot and lots of bags. Let me count all these bags and see how many goddamn bags are in this set. It's going to take me a while to build this one, so. All right, so we have bag number one, a sticker sheet, another sticker sheet. Some of those look fun. Cracked pavement where looks like a minifigure fell. <laughs> And then, normally these come in like a little cardboard box, but this looks like maybe Vision's cape and the Wasp's wings. Interested to see how those go on. We have our one base plate. We have three instruction manuals, which tell you all about the builders, some images from scenes from the movie, Cap's bottom, America's bottom, uh obviously hulk smash and loki loki blipping away with the tesseract you see tony stock behind him there dressed up as a shield agent that's from endgame obviously builders assemble constructors reassemble okay instead of uh, avengers assemble but this looks like you're gonna get a brick separator this is gonna be bags one through eleven there are 39 bags total. Bag number one is going to start out with Thor. We're going to get that nice little clear piece to make it look like his hammer is getting tossed. I'm going to have yet another Thor in my collection. I have quite a few. Number two is going to be bags 12, 16, 17 through 27. Looks like we get a bunch more minifigures there. Bag 12, we start out with 
Hulky poo. Ah, uh, nice big Hulk. Look at those abs. Yeah, baby. Can't wait to get a big Hulk. Number three is going to finish us off. Bags 28 through 39. We're going to finish out the tower. Then we're going to build uh, what looks like Loki's fighter, uh, Tony's little fallen thing, a portal. We're going to have a bunch of clear elements to place everything and set up little scenes. This is going to be a ton of fun. It's going to take me a long time, but I got my box all set up. Obviously, bag number one's first, and then you go two, three, four, five, six, you know? So as I go one, two, three, it goes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth, all the way to 39 down there somewhere at the bottom. And we are starting the Avengers Tower, y'all. So stay tuned, and we're about to start building this. I have no idea when the next time I'm going to check back in with you and, and show you how much progress I've made. But this is going to take me a long while, so I, I think I'm going to watch season three of The Boys, maybe start Gen V, and uh, enjoy this Thursday afternoon where I'm starting filming this and possibly finish it over the weekend, or it's going to take me a long time. I have no idea how long this is going to take, but uh, thank you guys for watching so far, and I'll show you guys a progress update in one second. It's probably going to be a second for you. It might be a couple days for me, so I'll see you when I see you. Oh boy, everybody, welcome back. Look at this. So uh, jumping from the last clip you guys seen, I was just starting and I was unable to do little progress updates because I was, that last video you just seen was months ago. Like, I mean, months ago, like this took me so long. I was just like trying to bust out a bag here, a bag there, 39 bags, 5,201 pieces. This thing is ginormous. Let's take a clo closer look, but I think it looks great next to the Bugle in the Sanctum Sanctorum. Uh, it, it is a, on a slightly higher surface, so that's why it looks extra, extra big. Maybe I'll have to switch one around, but I do kind of like that it's biggest, medium, smallest, and it kind of like tears down, but this Avengers Tower is insane. Let's take a closer look. Obviously, we still have the Black Panther taxi that I showed the earlier in the beginning of this video. I do have a couple minifigs uh, like She-Hulk and Werewolf by Night over there from the most recent comic book uh, minifig collection, which I have the full set right there. But I have a couple of these folks, you know, some duplicates that I had of the Hawkeye and Kate Bishop Hawkeye. But getting into this there's interior details all through this thing we got hulk holding a, a chitari army soldier we got loki on the back of a little vehicle here uh i love these little clear elements that are able you're able to just hook them up in funky angles you got black widow diving down on loki there there is more uh space for displayability with these little clear elements on the back side but i just kind of was like no one's really gonna see my backside, so i kind of focused everything on the front here you got wong with a hot dog <laughs> portaling in this chitari guy seeing him last second and being like oh shit gotta get out of the way <laughs> you got hawkeye jumping off the building shooting you got waspy there you have iron man that i actually had over here he was on top of this little thing here, but it was kind of pulling it right. So I moved him over here, even though there's, you know, another Iron Man right there getting caught by his little, you know, that scene from Avengers 1. Uh, we will take a closer look at the interior afterwards, but the Leviathan coming swooping down, Thor on top, throwing his hammer, maybe hitting Iron Man with it, <laughs> but... We also have Ultron in there. He looks great. Minifig, great print details. I really like that figure there. I actually am a big fan of Ultron. That movie's great. Uh, I have Falcon. And then I have Captain America Falcon. Over on the Bugle. But yeah, Falcon comes with this set too. And then I have a couple of the extra ones. The Owl, Lucky the Pizza Dog. Kate Bishop with the pizza. We have <laughs> Clint back there. Eric Selvig up on top. I probably should have maybe Black Widow up there, but I like how they have it. So you can set up, you know, scenes with them diving off or you can set up, you know, 
scenes on the inside or scenes on the outside and scenes on the back side and all types of stuff. But let me give you a little spin around here. Uh, move some of this stuff out of the way so <laughs> I don't hit it off the table when I'm doing it. But, oh, Kevin Feige. I forgot about Kevin Feige. Look at Kevin Feige eating pizza. Drop the slice and she hulks like, don't worry, I'll call Wongers and and have you heard anything about Emil Blonsky? And he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Because we know that Kevin and She-Hulk are plotting. But we also got a little Ant-Man back there in front of the Battle of New York sign. A little trash barrel up front behind <laughs> the Rough Rider out there. Oh, almost forgot Rhodey. Little uh, Iron Patriot type deal. On the back side, nothing too crazy. We do have uh, Nick Fury on the walkie. We got Pepper Potts talking to him, but we have a little Captain Marvel pager from the end of, what was that, uh, Infinity War? Yeah, I believe so. Um, but a little dumpster, not too bad. But you can see that there is little holes that you can put, display stuff on this side of the building as well, one up there, a uh, little birdie next to the Avengers sign. I do love how that looks. Um, we do have Wanda and Vision back here as well. The Quinjet can be stored inside there, which I like. It doesn't have to sit on the platform. I would love to see somebody double this, you know, if, it, if, if it's possible. Double up the Avengers Tower so that you can make it like a double Daily Bugle, like double the size of it. Um, I know it's possible with that, but I don't know if it would be possible with this one just because of all the angles and stuff. But if you're really smart, you could probably figure it out and that thing would just be absurd. Um... But I don't know, man. Maybe you could add a floor like the Avengers Tower that we see in Spider-Man Far From Home. But really, I would love to see uh, one big enough that they could fit the actual Quinjet on that platform. You know what I mean? But I don't know. They would have to make it ginormous for that thing. <laughs> Look how big that thing is. <laughs> but we got Loki over there. You guys that haven't seen this display, you know, it's pretty uh, jam-packed with minifigs and stuff. It's also pretty dusty. You see the poor Scarlet Witch back there. She's struggling. Look at her covered in dust. Ugh, I gotta dust that. Um, but most of it's actually pretty good, you know, considering. Not too dusty and whatnot. We got Daredevil in there. And tons of stuff. Okoye. <laughs> Miles on the side. I think I have another Miles down here. Yep, swinging with the red swing. But just some insanity, really. I love my little, re my little ducky. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon, the Guardians over there. Yeah, might have to uh, switch up some of this display. You know, I've, I've been repping this one for a little bit now, and I do have a bunch more Lego sets. Let, hold on, let me show you this. <laughs> Under my desk here, I got a bunch of sets to be built. The Venom Groot, the ro new Rocket. So stay tuned for those. Those will be getting built soon. Yeah, I really am digging this thing. But let's pop off this end panel and took a look at some of the inside details. So this pops off in one spectacular little piece. Don't even have to take off Tony Stark there. But just rest that there for a moment. I don't know if you guys have seen this either. We have a little, some, some sets up here in this little tower thing. I don't know if I've ever shown that off. But we also have the uh, McLaren F1 over there mounted on the wall. But some interior details. We have Mr. Tony Stark finding the uh, Tesseract there before Loki does, you know, because, you know, I could make this scene Loki picking up the stone, but I kind of like him better over there getting tackled by Black Widow. But there's some different spots you can put Loki in this. Um, but Alexander Pierce, a couple of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, uh, a couple of chairs. You can see Ant-Man over there sitting on the table. Um you can see we have America's ass. That's what I'm talking about there. We got two Captain Americas. One's looking at the other ones, you know, Jerry Air. Um, some computer screens back there. Helen Cho doing her thing. The other Cap Shield, you know, you could have them up on there fighting. But that's, they have a little scene set up so that you can do America's ass. Um, dummy here with a, a mark i don't know which mock that is but it is an iron man suit that is damaged so it's getting some work done by uh dummy there putting the fire out some details on stickers back in there you can see a loki sticker a tesseract sticker or not not a tesseract the uh arc reactor centerpiece in his chest but it's a circle one as you can see in that guy there he has a triangle one 
But this one here, <laughs> I have trapped in the uh, Loki, I think that's like the chamber from the helicarrier in Avengers 1, where it drops out of the sky and Thor has to punch his way out of it. But it was like designed for Hulk and stuff. You can also see Zola, Lego Zola over on the computer screen over there. But I have a Iron Man suit, almost like it's a display suit, like how Tony opens up that thing when Cap tells him to suit up in Iron Man 1. But yeah. Some great interior details, and then there's some details in there behind the Avengers Quinjet, but I don't want to move the Leviathan and stuff like that and take that out. But there is the, the little scene in there where they can pick up Cap's hammer. So you can set up a bunch of different scenes that I will probably do over time, but it took me so long to finish this. So for time being, I'm just going to leave it as is. But yeah, this thing is really, really cool. I do like how, I'll point this out, a little detail that from the front side, that's not a mistake, right? <laughs> that is one side's built a certain depth and then the back side is built at a further depth. And then this thing is built in such a way that it curves perfectly and just fits right in there just nice. And let's see if I can do it one-handed. Oh, 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 I think I can. Oh, 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 hold on. It's not perfect, but... <laughs> Hold on, let me do it with two hands. Yeah, I probably could have done that with one hand, but I do love how the glass looks. I love that it's all enclosed now. Uh, you could actually flip up these glass panels on the roof there so that they're all at like an angle, but I have them flat so that I could have the wing of the Leviathan swooping in. I love how that thing looks. You can adjust that so it's like curved down, curved up, whatever. Um, but that is just cool have him flying around the Avengers Tower. I don't know if it could. I probably could attach it to one of these holes with a couple of those, couple of these clear elements and probably have it swooping around the building as well. But like I said, you can change the layout of this stuff all around so that you can do whatever scene from whatever Avengers movie you want. Um, you know, like you could set up the, uh, the Ultron scene where he's, you have the strings on me and then they kill him and then he ends up doing Age of Ultron, you know. Uh, but some great stuff here, some great minifigs. I really, really loved the construction of this thing. It was a lot of fun. You can see Loki Scepter up there. There's, oh, I forgot this actually opens up. Yeah. You know, some more details in there. Um, this thing is interesting construction where you can get this curve there. Really cool. That opens up as well, but I have minifigs on it, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, baby, the Avengers Tower, the construction of that A was cool. I don't know if I love the teal blue, but it, yeah, it looks good from a distance. Um, <laughs> but hey, comment below. What do you guys think of all this? Uh, this Avengers Tower is super cool. It is expensive, but man, does it come with so much and it will definitely take a lot of your time. So uh, if you're asking me what I think of it, I definitely don't regret it at all. I really like where it is, and I don't know if I'll change the location, maybe, but maybe one day I'll change the whole layout in here again and see what we got working. But I also have a ton of LEGO backlog to build, so stay tuned for some Saturday LEGO videos coming your way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed my little run-through of the Avengers Tower and everything it has to offer. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more movie reviews and Comically Boston podcasts coming out on Monday. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.